No, we, we started from the condemned cell. Right. So we're done with the condemned cell. We're going to see the. All right, perfect. So um, while we're walking, while we're walking down, um, let's record this and, and let's catch up with them. I'm going to take you up our entrance and I'll be right back. All right. Okay, so we are right in front of the male dungeons. So that was a waiting place for the male captives before they were transported away from here. And again, right above the male dungeons was the Church of England. Wow. Or the Anglican Church. Of course. So this building was a church. Of course. And the dungeon. So this is to say the church played a big role in the transatlantic slave trade. The mother of all churches, the Roman Catholic Church, suggested that Africans should be used as slaves in place of the native Indians. And again, the church used their Bible to justify the transatlantic slave trade, to say that their God had told them that Africans were bound to be the white man's slave. They used the story of Noah and Ham to justify this. But this were all fraudulent and malicious. This was their greed. They needed an excuse or they needed that propaganda to spread. Because basically in Europe then it was about the church and the state. So people believed what the church said. Because from whatever the perpetrators of the transatlantic slave trade made whatever money they made, the church equally made that money. So that is how come we see the evidence here. A place of suffering and a holy place where they worship their God. It is not a coincidence that we have this here. Visit Elmina Dungeons. The same happened. The Dutch constructed their Protestant church on top of a female dungeon. The same Portuguese, Portuguese occupied the Almina Castle also. So underneath a Portuguese church, underneath a Roman Catholic church, was the slave market. Mm -hmm. The same happened at Fort Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. So all along the coast of Ghana, the Europeans constructed their churches on dungeons mm -hmm. to depict what their God had told mm -hmm. them to do. Mm -hmm. So I'll take you through the male dungeons. Mm -hmm. If there's three steps down, the last step drops a bit. Mm -hmm. We'll have a look. Let's keep it on that. I have a question, sir. Yes. This is also another place where people died. Yes. Thank you for saying that. People died. People were killed. Mm -hmm. People had to sleep on their feces, their mm -hmm. blood, urine for centuries. Mm -hmm. Let's come now. Stand here, turn up the light just briefly. So, if you should look up there, that was the only way they had light and air. And again, that was the only way they could determine day and night. That was the only way. 
And again, brothers and sisters, also bear in mind that the dungeons we are in today contain about 1,000 people. We have five rooms or five chambers within the male dungeon. Every chamber, they squeezed in about 200 men. So about 200 men were squeezed in, same in the other rooms. They spent about one month, two months, or three months in these dungeons before the ships arrived. Whatever number of days, number of days they spent in here, they had to go to the toilet, they had to urinate, they had to sleep, they had to eat, they had to do everything here. I will lead you through the first room, but please be careful, there's a small mm -hmm. pothole with water here. Mm -hmm. Very careful. Follow me, come this way, follow me, come, come, I can't come out. Watch this, 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 wat